Welcome Leo, we are going to look at what it is that you need guidance with over this time and we'll be using the Grace Cards, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, Leo, let's have a look see shall we, three cards for Leo please, three cards for Leo, one, Two. One more card for Leo, please. There it is. Right there. Bam. Okay. Leo. First card up is Soul. Beautiful. Okay. Pra practice good soul care. The quality of our outer life is always, de always dependent on the quality of care we give to our soul. So true, Leo. Okay, second card is comfort. Beautiful. Lean back into the arms of grace. Let go and let God. Alrighty, I love this. You know, Leo, it's sort of like allowing yourself to receive this, though, from grace. There's this sense of, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of like not being 100% open anyway, put it, put it that way. Okay, so next card here is listen. See, now, I love this card. Okay, Leo, let me tell you about this card, what I see. When I first see this card, this is what I get. See how she's here listening to this, trying to listen to the seashell? I don't know if when you were young, but we used to be like, you know, certain shells will be like, if you put it against your ear, you'll hear the ocean. Which, by the way, I never did. I just pretended I did. But she's actually got it the wrong way round. She hasn't even got it the right way round. So it's kind of like something's blocking you from hearing or, or, or you know, maybe this is what this receiving is about, right? Receiving the messages that you need to hear. Mm, something, yeah, there's something in that. But anyhow, when we feel overly attached to an outcome, it's simply an indication that we need to reconnect with our wise self. True that, yeah. And also, you know, she's listening to the shell to get a message right, but the answers are within. Right? Right, Leo? Okay. I always say it. I feel like I always say it anyway. Anyhow, let's get into this. Okay, so two cards for soul for Leo, please. Two cards for soul. You know, this card here, so practice your good soul care. The quality of our outer life is always dependent on the quality of care we give to our soul. And so that's a really good indication to see what's going on outside of yourself. Um, so that you can you can look at what it, it is that you're attracting into your life. And, and how maybe that's a reflection of how you treat yourself in a sense. So yeah, two cards for that card. There you go. Two cards. Just like that. Okay, assurance. Mm, yeah, assurance. It's kind of like these two parts, these two parts. And whether this is self-assurance, maybe, Leo, of, you know, sort of like, there's kind of like one part that's nurturing and growing and, and, um, and when we're talking about the soul here, it's like, you know, giving everything that your soul needs. But there's this other part here, which is cold and hard and won't give you what you need. And I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you here. Okay. There's sort of like there's something, there's something here uh, within you, Leo, potentially. Uh, it could even be people around you. But I'm really feeling, when I say that, I feel it's more within you. That you're holding yourself back from allowing yourself to be 
not the best that you can be, but receiving everything, right? Receiving maybe the comfort of grace, potentially. Let's have a look. Let's have a look further into this. Okay, two cards for assurance. Control flipped over then. So this could be, you know, keeping everything in order. Keeping things as, okay, okay. Keeping everything as like, no, it has to happen like this. It has to be like this, this and this. Even if that's in your mind. Okay, but first card to pop out here is harmony. I love this. Love it. Leo. Um, wow, Leo. These cards here. Yeah. I feel like this is saying to you, this, this part of yourself that you kind of like keep iced in, in a sense. is preventing this harmony in your life, okay? Um, I feel as though there's, yeah, there's this, there's a closing off, there's a closing off. And um, and if you can tap in to your heart, okay? Let your heart lead the way rather than your mind, all right? You can actually have them work in conjunction, but your heart ultimately should be the driving force in anything that you do in your life because your heart is really what is designed here not just to keep your body going but designed to guide the way so you feel your way through life rather than think your way through life okay um silence going into the silence here right this is when we're talking about the mind here, this is this third eye, right? The third eye. So going into the silence is going to help that third eye to open up. It's going to help everything just go into this peaceful mode. And you will then be able to hear your heart speak. Okay, because it's the mind that's keeping you attached to specific outcomes all right um and this is it this is you sharing your creation of your life okay this is um you being able to light your own way you have everything that you need along the path i feel like some of you might be afraid that um potentially if that you do things differently from what you believe you should do you're not going to have everything you need in order to go forward to where you want to go. Hmm, interesting. Laughter. <sighs> There's a need to let go here. There's a real need to let go. <sighs> let this inner child out to have some fun, right? We often, too often, two cards for laughter for Leo, please. We are often too, um, as adults, too quick to limit the fun that we have you know um yeah interesting there's three cards popping out but again but that's okay we'll take them yeah you know we can we, we don't let go completely and utterly um and i think that that hinders us so we have sorrow here yeah see this is it this is it right this is this Going, okay, so going into the silence, right, is not to do this alone in the silence with no support and no one around you. Going into the, whoops, sorry Leo, going into the silence, see this is it, right, yes, Leo, you're afraid of shaking your ground, you're afraid of shaking things up, you're afraid that it's going to shake everything that you've built. That's so funny that happened. So in silence, you sit there with this. And you, you know, there's this need to share because that's going to help lighten your load. You don't have to carry it all on your own. Okay. In, in the next card up here, 
once you release the sorrow and allow this, um, you know, this is about the soul care, right? What, what, what do we need? We need people to help us. We need people to sometimes not, not do the work for us, but Leo, we need people to walk with us and support us, yeah? Um, and this is maybe, this could be what you're closed off from. Okay, so we also have rebirth here because once you do that, this will be this music that comes out in you. You see, there's this sense, Leo, that you're afraid. It's kind of like you want to express yourself, but you're afraid. But because you hold back, all that comes out is this Leo the lion, right? Because you're not really fully allowing yourself to open up. And what you don't realize is that past that is this beautiful tune, this beautiful music, which is the truth of who you are. Okay, and that, Leo, will make all the pieces of the puzzle join up in your life. That will lead you to, oh, I just saw 11.11 on the clock there. That will lead you to the ultimate happiness that you could ever dream of your people. It will make all your wishes come true. True story. Comfort. Okay. Two cards for comfort for Leo, please. Lean back into the arms of grace. Let go and let God. And here's the thing, Leo. It's easy to say, but doing it is a whole nother story. I think it's like I think of surrender. And yes. It could be that, but there is a surrender card in this deck. And that didn't come out. This card did. So I feel like comfort is more needed than surrendering. Okay, so one more card. Is there one card there? Yep. Renewal of peace. Love it. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Okay, so renewal of peace. I love this. You know, this is sort of like reminds me of going back to that inner child and nurturing this inner child, right? Getting out in nature. But like, look at this sleeping little baby here and all the animals are coming around like all curious, like, oh, what's it going to do? You know, um, but nurturing yourself right receiving the comfort from grace that you deserve because ultimately that's where you've come from is grace right um you're from the highest source of light from wherever you want to call it right the universe um really tapping into that and allowing the truth of that to come through the truth of which you are leo this is going to give you this renewal of peace. And I feel like that's what you really want in your life. This peace. In your heart. In your soul. And in your mind. Two cards for a renewal of peace for Leo, please. Creativity. I don't know what that one is, but creativity. Yep, that's going to help. This, this is actually going to grow this creativity within you because once you do this, it, it, this is the thing. I think some of you think you're already reaching your heights in something, but there is so much more to come. There is so much more to, to, to bring out. It's kind of like, almost like you're halfway there and, and it may feel like, oh, I'm 100% there. You're not. You're totally not. You have so much more to bring out. Because there is still this inside of you. This is what's coming up, right? This has all been stored down for so long. This is coming up here, but this is also the other part of you, Leo. The other part that you have frozen. Frozen. Okay, so, oh, hallelujah. The master, yes, this is the master. This is unleashing this master within you. This is your authentic self. This is you not needing to do anything else other than be. 
You don't need to try anything. You don't need to do anything. You just need to be. Okay? Be. This is what these cards are about. Just by being, going into the silence, right? This harmony overcomes you. And, and this lights the candle to lead the way. And just by doing that, you share that with the world, your light that is within you, that you hold back because you're afraid. Some of you are actually, maybe, you know, it's sort of like you want to put yourself out there, but you're also afraid of doing that. You're afraid of being seen in a sense, maybe subconsciously. What's the next card here? Acceptance of love. Look at this beautiful acceptance of love, right? Because we've got one half here that is this part that you nurture and the other half is frozen. This could be loving yourself. This could be another person. But it always starts with ourself, Leo. Always. Yeah? And that's feeling it deep, deep within your soul. Feeling that love for yourself. Acceptance of love. Two cards for this. Acceptance of love for Leo, please. That's the two. Lean back into the arms of grace. Let go and let go. Okay, so. Love this. Look at this. You are worth it. See the candles lit up? Look at this. Flower here. This is this flower of life, right? Opening up, blooming. And look at this person just sitting there watching it going, Oh, is that what it's like? Is that what's there? Who knew? Right? I just did the wrong cards, didn't I? That's okay though. I was meant to do these cards. I just did totally the wrong deck. I don't care, Leo, because these were meant to come out. Be gentle with yourself. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is sort of like this um, record that's playing here. This is like this record that is playing. Right? And as you go through this transformation, not going, oh, stupid me, whatever, whatever. No, you don't do that. You actually allow yourself. It's it okay. Okay. So it's like allowing yourself to get into the boat and row to the ship. Because I feel like some of you are not allowing yourself to do that. Learning another way to do things. Okay, there's no oars. But learning that there is another way to actually get to the boat. You can use your hands. You can let the tide carry you. You can go with the flow. Instead of flight, fighting the flow, right? So, yeah. That's so interesting that I used those cards. Anyway, but that's okay because I love the messages that have come out. Listen. Okay, so now we want these ones again. Okay, so listen. Two cards for listen for Leo, please. When we feel overly attached to an outcome, it is simply an indication that we need to rip reconnect with our wise self not with the mind leo but with our wisdom expansion okay one more card for listen please there it is let me pick it up okay that landed upside down so i'm gonna have a look see at that in a minute but let's have a look at expansion here you see this is the thing i i feel um leo is that <sighs> When you let go of the attachment to the outcome, okay, and this could be the outcome in anything in your life. It could be the outcome of the overall picture in your life. Whatever it is, you'll know how that applies. Um, we, I, th I think it just makes the path a little bit more easier to walk along, right? Um, and this is, the, here's the thing too about what I was saying before about allowing other people to help you along your journey that you don't need to do it 
all by yourself okay because these hands here are jumping out at me these can these hands connecting so it really is like reaching out for you know that um that help because then what's happening is this person walking um sorry riding along on this um stag i think it is um they're able to do that um the stag has all this power here. The stag uses all its senses and all its instincts and its intuition to lead the way. The stag is looking at the terrain here in this picture to see where are the bumps? Where do I need to step down? Where do I need to step up? Well, the person riding the stag need not worry about that because the stag has got it down packed. The stag knows. And this person can concentrate on what it is they need to concentrate on, right? So this is what happens when we have other people who come and, and assist us along our journey. They help with certain things like that. They don't, they don't walk the journey for us because the stag is only helping to carry this load for this person. Okay, the stag is only going in the direction that it has been guided to go in from the person. You need to go this way. So the stag is like, radio, let's go. And it navigates the terrain as it goes. So yeah, two cards for expansion with the right deck for Leo, please. Love it. Oh, oh, that's not jumping out. There it is. There it is. Yep. Okay, Leo. We have existence. This here, Leo, is, uh, was I saying it before? I just think it anyway doesn't matter I'm going to say it now this is about you understanding that the universe is within you you are the universe there is no separation other than visually so this is connecting in with this universal source this universal power understanding your true existence is not this human form it is the energy of what you are made and is it, it is the energy that rules your life if you this is why this is why i'm saying let your heart lead the way because your heart is connected to the universal life source the universal energy okay healing healing see this heart here opening up right opening up like this this flower here opening up but this is what this healing does the healing that needs to be done okay and the thing is that we always have things to heal it's like an onion right leo we peel away we peel away we peel away it's like a never ending friggin onion it's always something there's always something and you know i suppose it's a bit like a flower right you might be working on it for quite a while and then you know it dissipates nothing to work on for a while until it blooms again or raise it up its ugly head whatever <laughs> you know but yeah there's always something that needs to be worked on and you continue doing that along your journey but it doesn't mean that anything needs to stop or be halted sometimes we might need a rest sometimes we might need to rejuvenate that's okay but we continue okay so Sorry, I'm just looking again. When we feel overly attached to an outcome, it's simply an indication that we need to re reconnect with our wise self. And this is our wise self, right? This is our wise self. And this lack of healing can prevent us from connecting with our wise self. Okay, amplify your positive emotions. Yes, Leo, yes. And this is this gratitude. This is this joy for life. This is this this childlike laughter amplify that you know to bring more in and it's a ripple effect right it's going to impact every area of your life okay so two cards to amplify your emotions for leo please two cards <laughs> love it love it leo okay one more card okay two cards then We'll go with that because we're going with the flow, right? We're not attaching ourselves to an outcome. 
of just two cards. <laughs> anyway, I'm just being I'm just being cheeky, Leo. Okay. Beautiful. This is a new truth. This is you in your power consciously. Consciously. Can you feel that power? I hope you can feel that power of that card because that is there is no words for it, right? Um, we've also got clinging to the past here. This is here's the thing, Leo, is that we with this healing, okay, we can kind of go, yeah, I've done all this healing, like it's fine now, you know, it's all good, or you know that, you know, we can kind of deny that it's it's a continuous journey, okay, and and we can tend to you know, put ourselves in this box here and no matter how much we bling it up of, yeah, I'm, I'm sweet, you know, I've done what I need to do. Um, this, well, this is going to make me um, better or this is going to make, you know, it, it, it kind of like maybe finding other sources to avoid what needs to be done. Okay, um, but we, we can't bling it up no matter how pretty or you know, whatever we make it look, it's still a box over our head. What I'm, I guess the thing is, I guess the thing is becoming conscious because we've got awareness here as well. Oh, yes, Leo, this is about you becoming conscious of who you truly are, of your wise self, of this, of this heart, letting that lead the way. Right? Because it's iced because of these things that need to be done because of the fear of this of being this when this is really what is coming from this heart space but there's this reluctance to let it out so yeah wow this is like wow leo yeah this is pretty huge so um i hope that resonates with you leo um please check out your um, birth chart are uh, the placements um, and that will give you a bit more insight hopefully um, but otherwise I will leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye